Ben impressions, go. Can you trust me? Oh, sure. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. We're going to be watching more Lost today. Storm here. Tom here. Kimmy here. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. How was Florida? How it was, was Florida? Windy. Yeah. <laughs> the hurricane was <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah, but I'm glad you're doing good. Yes. Me too. People were actually reaching out, which we love you guys. We have a lot of caring Aww. fans, and people wanted to send you luck during Hurricane Ian, and they wanted, Aww. yeah, and uh, they just hope you fared okay. And I said you were doing well, and your house has minimal to no damage, right? Yeah, no, I made out pretty good. My uh, the only thing I lost was my hair. <laughs> <laughs> it blew away. Oh, is my hair out? <laughs> <laughs> it's too pay one across the pond. No, we got we got very lucky here. It, luckily, it just tracked a little bit east of us, so we didn't get the full brunt of it. But it was still still pretty windy and pretty rainy. Tom was taking but, videos and sending us little snippets here and there throughout the day to show us um, how bad it was getting there. And you could just hear the wind. And where you are, you have some trees, but there wasn't a lot of reference to, you know, because usually you look at trees to see like the whipping winds. Mm -hmm. But you could hear it and you could see everything else moving. And I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, like that little pond behind you. You know, you saw the little, you know, waves. Yeah. That flooded too, right? Your pond got Mm -hmm. huge. Yeah, it it went up about a foot and a half. But then, and our resident alligator disappeared. So, but he came back. He came back. He disappeared, or did he just go into hiding more? He's like, if I went into hiding, I would have too. He's like, ooh, sweet, now you can never see me. I have more land now. Yeah, so thank you guys for caring so much. I love that. And we were worried for Tom, but if it got that bad, you probably would have evacuated. Yeah, I would have got a surfboard. We just get a surfboard because I've seen some crazy videos of people just staying home because sometimes you don't have the money to travel and go somewhere else, you know. And this one woman. Um, she was on the coast somewhere in Florida and she was hit hard and her whole house was flooded mm-hmm. and she was on a freaking raft in her oh, house. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. I'm like, are you kidding me? That's insane. Like how scary, yeah. but hopefully she's okay. I don't know the outcome of that, yeah. but she put it on TikTok and hopefully she'll have some follow through and be okay. Or you guys will let us know. Yes. <laughs> so shall we get into this episode? Let's do it. Yeah. I'm upset about Daniel dying. Yeah, Not know. cool. Oh, it's... So don't look at the thumbnail. Okay, so we're watching 516. She's like, I can take you. Ah, there's Charles. Oh, oh my oh, God. Oh. That's the thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Ah. Uh, this man walked into camp and put a gun to my head. Now Louise. That's her reacted. kid. Hello, Richard. It's been a while. It's been uh, three years. You and I have an errand to run, and we don't have a lot of time. Why did Locke say these were his people? I thought they were yours. When I left the island, John stepped in. He's the leader now. What are you? She wants to ask him about Jim. Were you here in 1977? Do you remember them? Any of them? I remember meeting them very clearly because I watched them all die. Do you think it's true? They're all dead? I don't think we went through all this for nothing, son. A little rusty, but she could still find North. We'll be back in a couple of hours. I'll see what I can find out. But whatever happens, son, you have my word. There's a way for you and Jen to be together again. If there's a way to save our people, I'll find it. You said that we needed to put things back the way they were supposed to be. What did you mean by that? If we can do what Faraday said, Flight 815 lands in Los Angeles. They'd all be alive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I wonder what if dead is still dead. The man I shot. What did he need the bomb for? When I was 17 years old, I took a young man to the bomb. Mm-hmm. Ten minutes ago, I shot that man in the back. And before he died, he said he was my son. Your son came back here because he had figured out a way to change things. He doesn't have to be dead. You don't have to have killed him. If we do what's written in that journal... I'll take you to the bomb. We secured it over 20 years ago underground. But since that time, it appears that someone's built an entire village over it. Okay, Jim, last chance. You tell me where she is, or so help me God, I will kill you. You ready to talk now? (sighs) 
big tough guy. Son of a gun. Stop! Please! She's gonna stop. tell. Then tell, tell me, me what I wanna know! Stuart, please! Do whatever you tell him. I ain't gonna believe you. So we're gonna get more people hurt. There were three last-minute add-ons. They were the two people that shot at you, Shepard and Austin, and one guy we can't track down. But they got Sawyer and Juliet. And there are 30 of them, and they all have guns. The only people we can rescue is ourselves, so let's go. We well, gotta do something. What are you doing here? I would ask you the same question. Well, we asked you first. <laughs> Faraday said that you were from the future. I need to know if he was telling the truth. He said there was going to be a massive accident at the Swan. Now, is that true? He's been right about everything so far. If Faraday said, get people off the island. Get them off. I'd do it. Why is it that this man looks familiar to me? Richard, you and Eric are coming with me. Weird deja vu. Same if you were. I'm taking them to the bomb. What? For John. You, uh, you ready to tell me where you've been the last three years? You really don't know? Well, Richard, you're just about to see where I disappeared, too. And after we're finished with that, I'd like you to take me to see Jacob. You just got back, John. There's no reason to rush into it. I am the leader now, right? Let's keep moving. We're almost to the plane. Hmm. What plane? All right, Richard, listen very carefully, because you're only going to have about three minutes to get this right. Get what right? A man's about to walk out of the jungle. He's been shot in the leg. You're gonna need to tell him that he has to bring everyone who left back to the island. And when he asks how to do that, you tell him he's gonna have to die. Who is that man, John? It's me. Uh, my twin. Me. Richard. Richard. What is happening? What's happening is you're bleeding to death. How did you know there was a bullet in my leg, Richard? Because you told me there was, John. No, no. No, I didn't. Ah, so he wasn't lying. You will. How did you know when to be here? He just knows now. The island told me. Everything go all right? Well, you, you seem pretty convinced. Especially when I said you were going to die. Certainly glad that didn't have to happen. Well, I did. <laughs> Actually, Richard, it did. You need to evacuate the island of all non-essential personnel, and you need to do it. <gasps> what the hell is going on here? Aren't you supposed to be at the Swan right now, Chang? We're supposed to break ground in less than 20 hours. We're under imminent threat. This is my decision, and it's been made. You um, keep working. Put us on a sub. Put the women and children on a sub and get them the hell out of here. And if you put me and Juliet on the sub with them, we'll tell you anything you want to know. You want on that sub, Jim? <sighs> tell us what keep this you want to know. Draw me a map. I want to know exactly where the hostels are. Why don't we just go around it? No, dear, we need to go in. We have to swim under the pond to get to the tunnels. I'm not going. Oh, come on, Katie. You're not going no, anywhere. Come on. No, don't do that We're not in the habit of telling our secrets to strangers, then just letting them saunter off. She can leave. Don't! Some of the gun he just shot her? What an asshole! Oh, someone else is shooting them. That man just killed one of our own people, and you're acting like it doesn't matter. If these people are right about what they're about to do, Richard, yeah, it won't matter. matter. The three of us disappeared off that plane and ended up here, ended up now, because this is our chance to change things. This is our destiny. Do you know who you sound like? <sighs> John. <laughs> because he was crazy too, Jack. You said so yourself. Well, maybe I was wrong. No, you were right. <laughs> Oh, Charlotte. Hey, there you are. <laughs> He's like, that's so weird. I want you to be now. Why is he young? Oh, lady? see, he's making it. That's how she that's remembers how he left. The only way you can get her to leave. It's going to be okay. So you always has a plan, right? Mm. I'm sorry. I should have listened to you when you wanted to get on this sub three years ago. Why'd you talk me out of it? Leave it all behind. The Good music's riddance. unsettling. Good riddance. See, he's getting Take gray a hair. And follow Richard under. It's too far ahead. There's an opening in the bottom of the rocks at the far side. 
Thank goodness it's clear. Yeah. Wear shoes and everything. Is Richard really there? I washed all the blood off his face. Okay. <laughs> I came after all. <laughs> nice. He's too curious. I'd be too curious. <laughs> well, if this works, you might just save us all. And if it doesn't, at least you'll put us out of our misery. I'll have a tent prepared for you, John, and we'll get going first thing in the morning. Thought we could leave right now. <laughs> what? Keep on going? Now? Is this everyone? Well, there's another group at the temple, but if you don't mind, I would like to talk to everyone here now. Hello, everyone. My name is John Locke. For some time, you all have been accepting orders from a man named Jacob. And yet, oddly enough, it seems that no one has actually seen him. And to be honest with all of you, if there's a man telling us what to do, I want to know who he is. Can he tell us how to bring Jin and the rest of our people back here? Absolutely. Richard has agreed to show us where we need to go. So I'm going to go and see Jacob. Right now. Ben wants to go and I'd to like you. all of you to come with me. Ben's wow. Like, that's not how it... Shoving off in two minutes. Appreciate it if you can cause us any trouble. Didn't think of it, Nemo. So once we dock, wherever we dock. That's for me. Real world. I love you. Uh -huh. Aha. <laughs> I want only yeah. sweetness. Hold on, don't close the hatch. <laughs> but wait, there's more. The island too. Let an arbor deal with them. Er, Kate. Right next to her. Come on. That's a little awkward. Is it just a test? Okay, so let's have a conversation. So he's got to stare at both of them the whole way. Whoa. It's leaving. How many people are there? In there. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's occurred to you that this woman's motivation in helping us detonate a hydrogen bomb is only to annihilate the Dharma Initiative. Yes, I still trust her. It's weird who he trusts and doesn't trust. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like full circle. Just like seeing it makes me like mm -hmm. <laughs> hold my breath and not move. Here we go. So all night they prepared. Yeah, they must have, because it's daylight now. Yeah. <laughs> Richard had some concerns. He's expressed reservations about whether or not you know what the hell you're doing. I'm not interested in being reunited with my people. Mm. I'm one with the island. Son, I know what I told her, but that's not why we're going to Jacob. Then why are we going to mm. Jacob? Uh -oh. So I can kill him. Is that possible? Like, I never thought of that before. I mean, but he's <laughs> invisible. <laughs> I think it's still Richard. Yeah, yeah like Richard a different. There? Maybe that's yeah. his shadow. <laughs> We've seen him I take love form. Ben, I don't know. Ben's like, oh, Richard. Ben really does have the best facial expressions ever because you just feel it. You're like, oh crap! And at that moment, you never know actually what he's thinking. You know, you really don't. This yeah. now, lately, you do. Yeah. Like, I know he is definitely following Locke because he has to. He was threatened by the smoke monster that mm -hmm. he has to do this or else. Mm -hmm. um, so he fell into place and he does kind of mope about it. But um, he was perplexed. Um, I think he's afraid of him saying kill Jacob. I mean, just to talk to him when, like, unannounced and not give him time to prepare. Yeah, like, that like, made them all flabbergasted. But, yeah. um, and even Richard was like that too. So I am curious. I am too. Like and Richard us. is like, whatever you want, you know? Yes, absolutely. So when Locke says, you know, I'm, you know, let's go now, let, you know, you don't have a problem with that. He's like, no. But, I have see, I, I'm wondering, you know, with Richard saying that, you know, he's worried that Locke's going to be trouble. You know, I'm wondering if, See, I think Richard is Jacob, you know, and I think that maybe because he, he was saying, let's go talk. He's trying to say, let's go talk in the tent, you know, before he uh, talked yeah, to the whole group. Yeah, so mm -hmm. it's, yeah. So I think he was trying to get him away from the group to say, hey, you know, or tell him something about him being Jacob or something like that. That's what, that's what I'm trying to lean yeah, towards. Or it definitely least, is a connection. Yeah, or at least um, de-escalate the situation where people aren't just going to listen to John and do exactly what he just 
told him to do. Well, there, there's got to be there's got to be a reason why with 30 years going by, he still hasn't aged at all. Mm-hmm. You know, even in the past three years, he hasn't aged at all. Right. Yeah. So there's got to be something with that. I know. I'm really curious about it. And again, like right when Locke starts pushing that he wants to see Jacob. And so he's shifty eyes looking in every direction and hesitating before they answer. And then how everyone, even Richard, do openly, blindly just follow Locke too. Like they do have um, their opinion um, on Jacob, but they still say, okay, if that's what you want to do, like they're still following that role of letting him take charge, even though it's something extreme they're not used to doing. So it's just amazing to see well, how open they are to just like, oh, if he was the one chosen, then you yeah, have to follow and Richard him no is what. yeah, and Richard is following Locke. You know, he has his reservations, but he is following him completely. Well, because I think I think that they, they know they know enough over the years that things happen for a reason on the island, mm-hmm. and that this this must be the next chapter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I mean, I with Richard though it's. Even with his heavy eyeliner, I don't think. Um, <laughs> Just <a> yeah, <laughs> which I have to say, fans did come out and say that um, he was actually interviewed about that at one point, or, or questioned during an interview, and he actually has thick eyelashes. That it's not actual eyeliner. Couldn't fool he me. I know it's all thick eyeliner, but he has very pretty eyes. eyes. Yeah, he does. does. Um, but even after thirty years, those pretty eyes would look a little different. Yeah, I Just mean, saying. I want to say like Locke. And Richard, Ben too, but mainly Locke and Richard are the most interesting characters to me. Like, I'm always so curious about the mystery and Locke we know more of and like what he's went through and him just being this confident. He's extremely it's confident. So different. It's almost, you know, it's almost too good to be true. I mean, now he lied to Son and he doesn't care. That's not his true reason. Now we know what his true reason to see I, Jacob. Did he actually lie to Son though? Because I mean... That wasn't That's not his, his purpose. Main, that, that wasn't his, his purpose, purpose. But she didn't ask that question. She asked him, would he be able to let us know what happened to Jin? Yeah. And he said, of course. Yeah. He said he was so, going to try his hardest or something to figure that out. And he kind of made it seem like he was doing this for that reason when that's not his main focus. So, but he didn't technically lie to her because he's still you know, going there. Yeah. And he might find out the. But he's manipulating think, like Ben would always manipulate. So well, he's kind of doing something similar. Locke, Locke firmly believes that the answers to everything happening on the island probably lies with Jacob. Mm-hmm. You find out who Jacob is, you can get the answers as to what's going on. Yeah, because this Jacob person is the. You know the know all. Everybody's scared of uh, scared of him for a reason. Mm-hmm. You know, if he's even a real thing. Yeah, it's, which it's, it's I, clear you know. that Ben. You know, he didn't say he didn't see him. He's never seen him, but he was kind of taken back by what Locke said. You've never seen him, have you? You've never met him, have you? Yeah. So. And we've seen Ben before get really upset because he wants to see Jacob and, or yeah, he wants to see Jacob and he got mad at Locke because Locke did see him or something at one point because we saw the shadow. We saw like <laughs> the chair move or something. Yeah. I, I think I remember that. And, um, you know, I thought we saw a shadowy figure there and then we saw um, Jack's dad there at one point right, with, with, Claire. with Claire and it's like, maybe it's Claire. <laughs> I know. It's like, where is Claire? Here, She's just gone now. <laughs> like what the heck? She's just gone out of the picture. Mm-hmm. I'm still putting my money on Richard. Yeah. yeah. So I really want to know more about that. That's the biggest thing. Where was Richard just now when they were walking down the beach? I he was know. in the middle of the pack. How can you show these people where to go if you're in the middle of the pack? I know. Yeah. Take Just keep walking here. straight. Eventually you'll find it. Yeah. The next rock, take a left. <laughs> At the crab, take a right. Yeah. I wonder if he's like kind of backing off too because he's nervous. Like he's probably, probably trying to strategize what to do when they get there. Well, I don't think there excuse. is a destination. There is no true destination as to where Jacob is. Yeah, there is. It's, it's Richard. So I think it's, well, I think it's Richard. So he's trying to figure something out. So he's buying them keep time. Going, keep going. And there is one, another mysterious thing too, is that the cabin does actually change locations because we actually saw right, the cabin actually disappear mm-hmm. and then reappear somewhere else too. So there's something strange and mystical going on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I think there's also a reason Smoke why. Smoke moves it. I think there's also a reason why Locke yeah. and Ben are, are staying back away from Richard instead of being right next to him. Yeah. You know, because the three of them are the kind of the 
I want to say the higher ranks of all of, of yeah. all of them there. So you think that they'd be doing little powwowing together as they're walking. Yeah. I feel like they all just still have their own agenda, you know, like Locke. Oh, still... I'm sure they do. I mean, definitely. Ben, ben. I mean, always he's, does. Yeah. He's already trying to, you know, uh, put tell a lock about between, Richard. Yeah. 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 And then Locke is really pushing it where it's something new. And I think that's good. And he does have good intentions. I think like, I think it's kind of dangerous because we don't know what he's up against, but um, he's for the Island. I kind of think he's trying to help the people in a way. Um, but with, everyone else being so secretive like Ben and Richard, I feel like, um, I know they can't just openly say it for certain reasons, which I don't know, but it just makes it worse. But I think Locke is the better choice, but I don't know. I like, kind of wish too that, I kind of wish that John would say to, um, Richard, Hey, give me the real scoop. What about this guy? Give him, give me a real, you know, tell me about him. You know, he's just going in there blindly well, and just pushing his I think, way in. I think the reason for that for is because he'll get the same, he'll get the generic answer that he would give anybody else who asked that question. Mm-hmm. So I, by doing it, by blindsiding him, by saying, let's just go see the guy. Let's take everybody I mean, with us so we can all see it. Yeah. You can't make, you can't make this stuff up. Mm-hmm. Then we're all going to find out what's going on. Yeah. And I feel like there's something that um, most people, if not all, will not understand and it'll ruin what they have there. Like it's too complicated that, um, you know, that you, the normal people there can't know. So whatever that is, because again, like the cabin keeps jumping around, disappearing, reappearing. It's a, it's a mystical thing. And Locke is connected with the island. They blindly follow people. Like it's not like a literal, like straightforward scientific thing. So um, the people are just blindly following whoever is chosen to be in charge. So it's not just like, hey, yeah, this guy, this is so-and-so from this district. And he's just very, <laughs> you know, knowledgeable of this island. And he doesn't like to be bothered. Like it's something way beyond. He filled out an application. And, uh, yeah, he's like a godly an interview or something. And he's something like that's way beyond us. And Richard has a good connection with him in some way or form or maybe he's not even human i don't know so there's something a lot more beyond our human level of thinking i feel like that like normal people just can't comprehend or something or, and that's why or maybe richard knows that um this jacob is so powerful he's like you know what people come and go all the time leaders come and go you know how who knows how old this guy is. This Richard. is how Timmy died. And you know what? Oh, well, he wants to be this cocky. Let him go. And he apparently isn't the real He'll leader. Die fast. Who knows? Well, I, I think that, you know, Richard's leading him somewhere just to buy him time to figure out what to do next. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to jump to a different um, conversation. But here, like everyone, like Sawyer, Juliet, and now Kate are leaving Right, they're on the sub. They're on the sub. I want a happy life for them. Kate leaving now. Um, I don't know what's going to happen there, but I was really happy to see Sawyer and Juliet together, and yeah. they were actually talking about their lives out, outside the island. And I really think that would be so great for them. But I'm like, you're not going to leave. I really hope they can though. But now Kate's there too, and I just feel like I don't want them to leave the show. I feel like if they did leave the island, we would see like their story. And somehow they would reconnect and I don't know. Yeah, but if they detonate the hydrogen bomb, wouldn't that reset everything, yeah. not just the island? Yeah. I started thinking like if they reset the island, the people who leave before it resets would not be touched, but that wouldn't make any sense. So No, because then the plane would land in Los Angeles. So then that would kind of change and, everything outside too. Right. Yeah. And the ship never came to find, never would never come about. And then Charlotte, we know Charlotte survives, but... Yeah, Penny wouldn't be putting so much Penny, effort into so the search and rescue. Right. Yeah. And then, you know, you would So, have... yeah, it would change everything outside, too. Right. You Even know... Daniel's life wouldn't change. Yeah. And... Daniel would be alive. Yeah, I want him to be alive. We love his character. Um, you know, it stinks because, like, what really is right, you know? Because I think it would be good to reset because then a lot, of, a lot more people would be alive, you know? Um... See, that's, that's the thing that kind of see time travel always throws a wrench into every in everybody's thinking because mm-hmm. if they wound up in the past to do this to do this effect with the with the with the hydrogen bomb they're still in the past does this reset everything in the past or just what happens in the future from that point on 
Yeah, and that's the thing, and this is their present, so I'm assuming that now so, this resets and then none of this ever takes place. But who knows? Because like there's all are these they, But are they still nothing takes place, but are they still stuck in the past? Like is is everybody who's in the past, are they still have to live out their life in the past and then they die? Or and then their future self just lives on, but I don't understand how because it creates like a paradox kind of thing. I know that's the whole there's I, so many different theories. Yeah, I think they just live normally until that bomb goes off, everything resets, and then our people Yeah, but then who goes for... but then that event already happened in the past, and so then how do they go from the future back to the past to make sure that, that timeline happens? Maybe again? it breaks it where it's back to linear or just it, that never had to happen. It in the just first literally place resets and, it and <laughs> Yeah, so who knows? I mean there's so many different theories that you yeah. can just like talk over and over about. You know, I think it's yeah. fun. I think it's fun. But yeah, so I'm assuming because we see people flashing and this time we didn't actually see him, but we heard that Locke disappeared in front of Richard's eyes and you know, we heard the sound that effect. Well, he just did in front gone. of them, yeah. Yeah, but then we didn't actually physically see him just go bloop, you know, we heard the sound effect. We were watching like, uh, present Locke's face right. with Ben and then we heard the sound effect. And then, then Ben go, cut, Where'd he go? Then we cut back and you see go? Richard like, hey, you know, and then Locke is gone. So I'm assuming well, I think that it's... people would just disappear and then it would be the original normal if there was original. Well, I, I think it's interesting too with the with the time jump that, you know, when our people go through that 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 time blip, yeah. that they see that big bright white light. Yeah. But then when everybody else sees somebody disappearing, they don't see that light at no, all. No, they just look yeah. around. Like, Who oh, knows? Because yeah. we don't actually see it happen. I'm thinking maybe, like, instead of just disappearing, I hope they, like, glow white. Like, their body just takes a form of white and then just disappear. Like, they're the light because they're maybe. Really pulled in by it. Because that would I mean, be a cool effect. Well, I mean, like, anybody, like, Eloise saw uh, Dan disappear the first time. Yeah, and it sounds like they just literally go invisible. Like, they just... Disappear. Yeah, it just yeah. disappear. And then same thing with Richard seeing Locke disappear. Yeah. And even Ben and Locke seeing himself disappear. Yeah, because I would think yeah. I'd say, oh, yeah, there was a big glowing white flash. There was a bright yeah. white light or something, and then you disappeared. But they didn't say that. They just said, you just disappeared. Mm -hmm. Whoop, you erased right. from his existence. So I, you know what I loved? I loved when Richard said, you told me about the bullet. And he's he goes, like, no, no. Right? That was cool because he really did. Now we yeah, saw he didn't lie to you. He really did. <laughs> I know, and it was so confusing when we saw it the first time, just like Locke. We're like, wait, what the heck's going yeah. on? Yeah, so can't wait to watch the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And we'll see yes. you very soon, Thank as you. always. Bye, guys. Who is Bye. Jacob? Bye. <laughs> I want to kill him. <laughs> I know.